Now to the next messaging pattern, which is the message endpoint. The basic idea of the message endpoint is to provide some functionality to send and receive messages. This can look like this. We as a sender here, we want to send some data. And we have a dedicated message endpoint component, which provides the functionalities of writing or sending data and receiving or reading data. This data is then packed into a message and this message is then sent over some messaging middleware, over the internet, over the network. And the sender doesn't know which route the message is going to take, but eventually it will be received by another message endpoint and will be unpacked there and will be returned to the receiver. The message endpoints take over the responsibility of speaking the same protocol and communicating with each other and explicitly defining this communication point. What are the benefits? We have a clearly defined responsibility. We know exactly which component is used to communicate and it's not distributed over multiple components. Also, all our applications use the same message endpoint. Endpoints convert into and from a message. The sender and the receiver don't have to care about which message protocol is spoken here and which format is used. Endpoint can be reused for multiple components or multiple applications. And we have a decoupling of the external protocol via the messaging middleware and the internal communication, for example, via direct function calls. What are the drawbacks? Changes in the message protocol have to be communicated. So if only one message endpoint changes the data format, it's not compatible to the others anymore. If the message format changes, all endpoints have to consider this and have to change accordingly. It may introduce a performance overhead because we have an additional abstraction layer. It's an own component. Instead of directly packing together a message and communicating it and only using the functionality which we really need, we have to use this message endpoint which may provide much more functionality than that and which could introduce some performance overhead. We have a single point of failure here. This message endpoint, if it's a single thread who is working on a queue and sending all messages in this queue over the network, for example, then this could be a bottleneck for the whole application. If this fails, then the whole application cannot send messages anymore. 